Rani, uh, Bojo. So this is my uh, this is my setup uh, most of the time. Um, yeah, it's nothing super spectacular. Uh, so basically, I use uh, GIMP software, uh, GIMP uh, software. I I don't use Photoshop. I, I learned on this because it was free, uh, and I'm a fan of free. Uh, it has pretty much everything that uh, Photoshop has, uh, and then you can add stuff to to it. So I like that as well. And anyway, this is what I've been working on uh, recently. And to complete my my uh, my rig, <laughs> I do most of my stuff with a mouse. Ta -da! That's uh, that's the that's the big trick. Um, So I'll do most of my fine line work uh, in pencils. I'll start off in pencils, like uh, um, yeah, just like pen and paper, um, and I'll do like on uh, eight and a half by eleven uh, plain white paper. It's like photocopy paper, and uh, I use like a, a mechanical pencil, um, and then a Statler marker for details, like ratio of point zero zero five to like. Uh, size one um, and I'll, uh, that's that's what I'll do so I'll, I'll do like pencils and then I'll do inks um, and then uh, after the inks I'll scan it um, and then do all the rest of the work uh, like the the, uh, the shading and stuff like that uh, and touching up the, the artwork um, on my computer <clears throat> this year I went and got a, a like a, a Wacom tablet um, yeah, it's nothing, nothing fancy. It has a lot of wires. It's kind of cumbersome. Um, I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, it. It does everything I needed to do though, so that's okay. Um, but yeah, basically all the stuff, the shading is uh, is done by. Uh, it's just done by. Uh, to this art program, so this it's got good, good, good lines. You know, it's it's a. Uh, I like it. Um, I think yeah. So it's a little slower with uh, with a mouse, um, but I like the quality of control that I have with the mouse. Um, and I've, I don't know. That's that's what I learned, or learned on. So it's just basically what I've been using. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I always found talking about artwork as I'm drawing kind of kind of tedious, but uh, I will give it a shot since I know that uh, some people are interested in the process for me. So the process is pretty much just like this. And yeah, I do a lot of this. The bulk of the book uh, was done with a, a mouse, uh, keyboard, and uh, just, yeah. I'm actually uh, faster with the mouse than I am with uh, the pen because again, I just learned how to do it this year. Um, I don't know why I was so resistant than getting a, a tablet and a pen. I thought it was just like an expensive thing, and anything you could do with like a, a tablet and pen, you can do with like a you know a regular uh, uh, a mousey keyboard or just you know pen and paper. Um, I think what I found was that uh, when I got the tablet, I found it. Uh, the process of inking was a uh, was not necessarily faster, but I found that uh, I could do it and skip the whole uh, pen and paper route and just go straight into inking. Um, because you can always like you know you can just move up to edit, undo airbrush, and then, or undo whatever you whatever you were doing, and you're good to go. Um, yeah, most of the time I'll do like. I'll go up and go to select the this tool, free select, hand drawn, and if I want to, uh, I think I mostly just guess <laughs> uh, where I want the lines and stuff like that to be. Um, so everything that I've done is like it's all self-taught. Uh, I did go to like Algonquin College uh, for pre-illustration and, and uh, animation, um, but by that time I'd already 
taught myself everything I, I knew about artwork. Uh, and the whole thing of going was, it was later in life, in my, my mid-30s, and I decided that uh, I wanted to go to college and see if, if college was, you know, for me. And I didn't want to, like, commit to, like, a two-year program and discover, oh, I hate it, I can't do this, why am I changing careers, you know, this late in life. Um, so that's what I did. <laughs> Um, and I discovered, you know, it wasn't as, as hard or difficult, uh, as I thought it was going to be. And it was something that I was, I thought I would be good at. Um, so I <coughs> completely changed from a social or, a, uh, animation illustration. Cause I didn't, I didn't want to be an animator. Um, and I went into social service work cause I was like, well, I need a, you know, a, a career that will pay the bills while I pursue my, my art. And I didn't think it was going to be super stressful to do that. Um, and little did I know that, you know, social service work is, is very stressful. Uh, you're dealing with uh, people who aren't necessarily at their best uh, every day, all day. Um, and you're trying to, you know, help them out. Um, and they don't necessarily want your help, but they know they need it. And so... That makes them, you know, stressed, stressed out even more, and sometimes embarrassed. And uh, you do your best, and try to keep in mind that you know they're, they're they've had better days than when they when they sit down in your office, and uh, that's fine. I mean, you know, people, that's it's hard, asking for help is the hardest thing a person can do, right? Um, so yeah. Anyway, uh, I got lucky and found uh, jobs that would employ me like uh, with enough time to do my artwork on the side, um, or jobs that you know allowed me to come into work uh, later than you know the typical nine to five job does, which was uh, super good for me. Um, I'm not a morning person by any stretch of the imagination. I'm. Uh, uh, a night owl through and through pretty much a uh, vampire so the vast bulk of my work uh comes at night uh when nobody else is awake and the world is sleeping and except for me i'm i'm awake uh drawing doing my thing um yeah so this is a, a D, D character of mine uh because i play dungeons and dragons i know I'm a complete geek nerd all the way around, um, which is hard to believe because I'm, I'm indigenous. I, you know, it's, there are there. Uh, can you be indigenous and be a, a geeky nerd? I don't know. I, you know, I was, I guess so because you know, here I am. <laughs> um, so this is a opacity or opacity or whatever you how you pronounce it. The, basically makes the dark the brush darker. Um, I don't usually mess around too much with my, my brushes. I'm pretty basic when it comes to it, so I'll use like a, right now I'm using the airbrush uh, tool. Uh, I also use the paintbrush. I rarely, if ever, use a pencil because, I don't know, I just don't. I, like, I use paintbrush primarily, uh, the filler, the dark or dodge and burn which just makes you know the shade the colors uh or the black and white uh, darker or lightens it up uh smudging and the blurring tool i use those uh scaling image or the tilting image um i don't use these guys like a lot uh if i want to like do deep blending and stuff like that and if i want fine lines well i just go to here and pick the size and make it go down to probably what a three uh, and then what that does is gives you like these fine lines. If I want them to stick out more, just turn up the opacity, say 100, and then I'll show you it goes like. So you can give like some extra detail um, in your artwork. And since airbrush is not so good at that, I just remembered I'm using an airbrush. <laughs> Uh, this will come out pretty thick so you have to be careful with that I find um, yeah so that was like the the short 
version of my, my career. Uh, I've always been a comic book illustrator uh, of my own. Um, it wasn't until probably my, my 30s that I discovered that, or that I, I found work uh, in comic books and graphic novels um, that actually paid. Um, it's very hard to industry to break into unless you're going to self-publish. And I wasn't really, you know, I, uh, living like paycheck to paycheck. I'm not like a super wealthy guy. Um, so I didn't go down that route of, uh, you know, uh, self-publishing comic books and stuff like that. Um, so I've got like a, I've got a lot of different comic books that have, that I've worked on that are my own and very few that I've worked on for other people that made it to, to the, the point where they were published. Um, not for lack of trying, just, uh, I didn't put like a massive amount of energy into doing it, doing that. Um, mostly I guess because I was always interested in just drawing for myself. Uh, so my stories were, were basically just that stories that I wanted to tell and would share with like <laughs> close friends. Um, but not really anybody else. Uh, so I think if I spent more time um, trying to get into the comic book field and, and going the route of like Marvel or uh, DC, I probably could have got work. Um, but it would have been work that wasn't my under my control so much as... Uh, uh, theirs, so they would be their stories, their their characters, um, and I'm not really all that great with following uh, following uh, other people's stories and other people's characters, um, so I don't generally work that way. Um, I find that I work best uh, on stories that are that are mine. Uh, or, or if it's not mine and it's working with like say uh, another writer that I have control over what the character will look like um, and as long as I have that then you know it, everything seems to work out better in my favor um, and I get like I do I do a better job so I need a little bit of uh, freedom of expression and creation uh, Oh, and about what I'm doing here? Yeah, I know there's like shortcuts and stuff like that. Uh, you push this key on your keyboard and it'll do what I'm doing <laughs> for me. I don't, uh, I never bother to learn them because I like the, the hands-on feel and I like the doing things this way. I don't know, it just makes it more artistic -y, I guess, for me or a little bit, uh, a little bit more. Um... So I'm a little backwards that way, I guess. Uh, yeah, so that's the basically, that's basically how I go about uh, doing my artwork on the computer. Um, well, that's the, my D&D &D character, Black Lotus, not the, not to be confused with the, uh, the curling key of Black Lotus. Um, yeah. So I pulled up the page from the Curling Key uh, graphic novel, uh, and there's like all the layers I worked on. Most of these are, are text, and then like <laughs> it's fog of war is from like when I play D and D. I, I make my maps uh, on GIMP and I move stuff around on GIMP, uh, uh, which is just I don't know how I how I do it. Um, so there's not much to to show here but um or like your artwork is all finished artwork i think if i were to like spend more time on this particular page uh here you can see part of the pencils which i left in because i thought well it works for shading and it kind of gives it a rough rough kind of feel and I, I like it because it's you know it's a it's a flashback so this is all like a flashback it's a uh, Susan Savick, who's going to marry this guy, who's young Julian Savick, uh, and they're, you know, 12-ish, I guess, here, and uh, I wanted Susan to be, like, a, a, a mischievous, uh, 
and in a caring kind of way and and julian i wanted him to be uh kind of an introverted uh not because of you know any anything that happened in his childhood but just he's a quiet guy um he's happy but he's 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 quiet uh so he's introverted and i wanted to show that you know his father had a big role in his life um unlike salamander whose whose mother is going to have a big role in his life not which will turn out to not be susan uh she won't have really any role in his life uh but she will while well, she's like when she become finds out that she's pregnant she, that's when you know that's that's the part of salamander's life that she has the most impact on um when he's still you know the energy of the curling key uh which we'll get into more in the second book uh as they flash back again to julian and susan's life um and i show their uh um show what happens when the, they discover that susan's uh, pregnant uh, and she can communicate with uh, the Krillin Key, who's a baby in her womb, uh, growing. Um, yeah, so that's basically me doing my comic books uh, and doing how I do how I do my artwork. Yeah, so that's the uh, that's the big setup. That's the big. Uh, <laughs> that's where the magic happens. Um, yeah. Um. So hope you enjoyed this little video. I'm going to sign off and uh, let you guys uh, go. And uh, remember to uh, pick up your copy from either the website of Akega Dance uh, Press uh, or All It Up. Or if you're in the Ottawa area, pick it up at uh, Perfect Books. Um, I have some signed copies of Perfect Books. Um, and again, if you're in Ottawa and you, you want a specific book that you want signed by me, I'll, I'll do that as well. Um, yeah, so take care. Have a great day. And uh Thanks again for stopping by. Bye, my pee.